A fast food order gone horribly wrong is what employees say led to a woman's death in Orange Mound this morning. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the News at Four. I damn, he got a big ass head. I thought I had a big <laughs> head, man. Like, I, be, I, I, I mean, I got a huge head, but this motherfucker, God damn. <laughs> he, looked like, he looked like one of them babies. He looked like a cartoon baby, man. <laughs> Like, you look like Coco Bellin. What them Coco Bellin babies, man? Or you know those toys that are very popular with the big heads? I don't know the name. Yeah. You, like you, know, you know what I'm talking about, product? Yeah. Just, po just poke them with a needle. <laughs> Dude, you got a big ass head, man. Pause. Shit. My God. Um... Yeah, man. Sorry, man. I he distracted, man. He can't Shit. breathe any more air, man. He need to do radio, man. <laughs> a fast food order gone horribly wrong is what employees say led to a woman's death in Orange Mound this morning. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the News at Four. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. Now, this happened at the McDonald's near Airways in Lamar. The BRAG's Cormitra Wilburn has the latest on this morning's tragedy. He could have been shot. I could have lost my cousin. Devontae Lewis rushed to the McDonald's near Airways in Lamar. Hold on, what did he say? I thought that was a girl I wasn't looking for. <laughs> Hold on. Hell no. I could have lost my cousin. Devon That's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's sweet as an apple, as a McDonald's apple pie, man. <laughs> All that sugar in that tank. He could have been shot. I lost my cousin. Like Devontae Lewis. Shit. He could have been shot. I lost my cousin. Like, God, his name Devontae and shit. He could have been shot, you know what? He could have been shot, I could have lost my cousin. Devontae Lewis rushed to the McDonald's near Airways in Lamar after hearing about the early morning shooting. I don't Memphis blame him, though. Like, Memphis so rough, man, on Sunday, man. He probably just playing, he probably playing the playing game so he can stay out the way, man. <laughs> Some man be like, oh, no, nah, he gay, y'all. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Right. He ain't with that shit, y'all. He gay, man. <laughs> he had a deep ass voice. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt was fuck. No kid. <laughs> right, man. He like one of them homeless people that be like like that. Oh with my god. Family, oh, with the tick can, <laughs> with the tick can, the blanket takes it off. Yeah, they get it's they like get, they get yeah. the after they finish fan handling and shit. Right, he walks to the Mercedes. <laughs> He gonna go home with shit. Be like, yeah, man. You what's up, y'all? Yeah, man. I don't blame him though, man. Fuck that. It's too too wild out there, man. Fuck that, man. I'm I'm gay. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> he could have been shot. I could have lost my cousin. Devonte Lewis rushed to the McDonald's near Airways in Lamar after hearing about the early morning shooting. Memphis police say it happened shortly before two a.m. A woman was found dead. It's believed this shooting happened at this pickup window. You can clearly see that bullet hole in the window. We spoke to a family member of one well, of the- They just gonna leave the bullet hole right there. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even gonna put no fucking, like, fucking cardboard over this shit, nothing. Just leave them. <laughs> it's, it's Memphis, man. That's too much work. In the window. We spoke to a family member of one of the employees who was on scene when the shooting happened, and he tells us that this shooting stemmed from an argument between a customer and an employee over food. I don't know if it was over a sandwich or some fries. I don't know. He just said it was over some food. Officers spent hours gathering statements from employees. Lewis says their cousin ran for his life once shots rang out. The customer got smart over some food or something because their food wasn't fresh or whatever. MPD has not said who fired. Look at the goddamn scorpions. You need, y'all need to bring back that scorpion squad, man. Shit, man, y'all fucked up without, man. This city, we do Memphis just about every other day. Sometimes every day. It is fresh stories every day. Shots. At one point during the investigation, we witnessed four MPD cruisers drive to a nearby neighborhood on airways. Officers knocked on several doors and spoke to residents. We're told a man was eventually detained. I'd be mad too about my food, but I don't think I would like hurt somebody. It's unclear if the victim is an employee or a customer. A gray sedan next to the pickup window was towed away. The store was back open for business just hours later. Damn, they murked somebody and opened up hours later. 
And they don't know if it was a customer or an employee. I, I we don't know either because the sun man could have just shot into the through the window and it could have hit the could have hit a customer. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Like the sun man don't if it was if it was a glider, we would have known it was he he killed the person he was shooting at. It would have been the employee, but with a sun man, we don't know. They, they could have hit somebody across the street. You know, it's just it's it's the same, man. This is sad, man. I'm not or gonna lie, I'd be to pissed if I died at McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> man. Fucking heated. Yeah. Piss me off. We're told a man was eventually detained. I'd be mad too about my food, but I don't think I would like hurt somebody. It's unclear if the victim is an employee or a customer. A gray sedan next to the pickup window was towed away. The store was back open for business just hours later. It's sad. Hopefully, misses get better. Reporting in orange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's not gonna happen. Talk about man. My man, he 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 doing too much on this one, man. It's sad. Hopefully, misses get better. <laughs> man, you doing too much, cuz. Come on, cuz. When you had to throw all that extra on it, man. We get it, man. We get it. You try to stay out the way, man. You try to let the you try to let the, the, the steppers know you ain't with the shit, man. Leave me alone. But come on, man. <laughs> Sad. Yo, so, get better. yo, salute to the to the McDonald's though operating. As soon as that the crime scene was cleared, they kept working. Right. They 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 took the body and they just kept the get you know kept the pushing. They was like, "Come get this bitch, man. We got we got Big Macs and shit to sell, man. What the fuck is going on, man? It's a franchise too, man. Right. Right. It's a business, man. Yeah. man. Yo, I I do I do love the the bullet in the window though. It it just. You know, it just feels like you know it has character. Exactly, <laughs> like 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 no fucks given. Fuck that. Get the get man. Right. Get the bitch, man. <laughs> like you know where you at. You know where you at. Born in Orange Mound, poor Mitchell Wolfhorn, WREGE News Channel Three. And Memphis police have charged 36-year-old Preston Dinner with second-degree murder in that shooting. Now we reached out to McDonald's headquarters for a statement. Second degree. So that might have been a customer, because if he hit who he was trying to hit, I mean, unless the McDonald's employee was armed, if he hit who he was trying to hit, that's that would be first degree. Most, well, not in Memphis, because, yeah, they got that one VA. But, yeah, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll find out. We'll follow up on this story. Murder in that shooting. Now, we reached out to McDonald's headquarters for a statement. They told us, quote, we are deeply saddened by this morning's tragic incident. Our thoughts are with the families affected by this sudden tragedy. The safety and well-being of our crew, customers, and the community remains our top priority, and we are fully cooperating with law enforcement in their investigation.